Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'll walk you through 21 different and foundational strength exercises that you can do out on the pitch without any equipment at all. It will be focused on our speed, our power and our strength. It will be lower body, it will be some upper body exercises and your core, but without further ado let's head into the session. So the most important thing before you start any kind of training is to do a proper warm-up. I like to start off doing some foam rolling, which is a low intensity activity to get some blood flow into the muscles. Then I usually follow that up by some jog, some dynamic movements, some dynamic stretches, which further enhances my range of motion, my flexibility, my mobility, so that I can head into the session performing at my peak. We will start the session off with the most explosive work and the most intense work, so I usually also finish the warm up off with some sprints. Around 80% of my max intensity just to get ready for the session. So, heading into the first exercise, we have something called a lunge hold, which is an isometric exercise, which means it's an exercise that you just hold, and this one is just like part of an extended warm up. Then we jump into the squat hold, which is a similar one, but this is a bilateral, which means that we're using both legs within the exercise, but we're just staying in this position for us to be able to warm up our muscles even more and to be able to head into the more explosive exercises later on. Then we go for the single leg RDL, which is once again another unilateral exercise for us to be able to start working more on our stability and our balance heading into the more explosive exercises of the session. And heading into these next few exercises, starting off with the bilateral deceleration, is that it's very important that you do them with max intent. Because if you don't, it's really hard to grow from these exercises, but you really want to, even though it seems like very simple exercises, you want to do them with max intensity and max intent when you go into these exercises. These exercises will help you a lot with creating force and absorbing force, which means break and accelerate out of the field, and that is something that we do a lot when trying to get away from a defender or chase an attacker down. For this next exercise, it's a very intense one, but what you want to do here is you can imagine it a bit like sprinting, but instead of trying to run as fast as possible we want to create maximum force with each and every stride so the goal is really to push off as far as we can with each and every stride and do that in a straight line going forward this is an incredible exercise to be able to create force and absorb force and the same goes for this one and it's more or less the same but at this time we instead go in more of a diagonal pattern to be able to create force more to the sides and absorb that force as well before we push away. These bounding exercises are very intense ones so make sure that you're properly warmed up before heading into them and they're also very taxing on the central nervous system so don't do too many reps of them. Next up we have some side jumps which is another movement that we do out on the pitch where we absorb force and we create force. So absorb and then quickly push away to create that force and absorb that force. A really great exercise for your agility and for your change of direction. And then we finish off the speed and power related work with a straight line sprint and sprinting is one of the absolute best ways to improve as a footballer and as an athlete and doing it with max intensity and max intent is a foundational exercise that you should definitely incorporate into your training plan. Now heading into the strength portion of this video, we start off with probably the most classic strength exercise there is, which is the squad. Uh, I include a few variations here where you can go without any equipment, you can use a ball or a weight in your hands if you have that. If it's too easy, you can go off one leg, which is also unilateral, which will also improve your balance and stability. Other ways to progress in this exercise is to increase the amount of reps, decrease the rest times, just to make it a tad bit more difficult for yourself. Now we head into the forward lunges. This is a simple one where we keep alternating between our right and our left leg, going forward to a 90 degree angle in our front knee and our back knee, and then we keep repeating that movement until we're done. Then we head into another variation of the forward lunge where we do a rotation out to the side just to incorporate our core a bit more into the movement. Now instead go for a backward lunge, and here it's important to try to 
put the most amount of weight in the front leg and the leg that is working and minimal weight in the back leg because that will make the exercise more difficult. Next up we have the walking lunges and this one is another variation of the lunge movement but when we keep moving forward we're incorporating slightly different muscle groups to just standing in one place. Try to remain as stable as possible and maintain a strong posture throughout the entire movement. Now we enter an exercise that I definitely need to incorporate a lot more into my training plan and that is the side to side lunge which is another lunge variation, a unilateral exercise where we're training more of the stabilizing muscles like our glutes and our adductors. Then we head into the death march which is basically a single leg RDL but where we keep moving forward and going forward in the movement and this one you should really feel in your hamstrings but be careful not to push it too far because it's really challenging on your hamstring flexibility and your hamstring strength. And then we head into another classic but very foundational exercise in our strength training routine and that is a standard push-up. You can do different progression of these and I will show you a few of them but this is the basic standard push-up. But here I use a ball, roll it side to side to incorporate more of a stability and to challenge my core a bit in the movement. Then we head into some glute bridges and I will show a few progressions here as well. Another exercise that may seem very simple, but one where you really need to pay attention to your intent in the exercise and really start to push it and challenge yourself. You can do it off one leg as I do here, you can go up with two legs and break it down with one leg as the eccentric phase of the exercise may be a little easier. Then we head into the plank where I will also show a few progressions like here where you can rock back and forth to further challenge your core in slightly different phases of the movement. Another thing you can do is to go up and down and switch and alternate between your elbows and your hands and try to keep your core as stable as possible. You can also stay on your hands instead as that is challenging slightly different muscles. You can alternate between picking a leg up and do a single legged plank. Uh, you can take one leg up to the side and try to remain stable as well. That's always important with these core exercises to try to remain stable and have a strong foundation. You can include some rotations as I do here. Then we head into the side plank where you can work your leg up and down or you can do the rotation as I did in the previous exercise but incorporate that into the side plank as well. Then heading into probably the simplest exercise of the bunch, just some classic sit-ups, follow that up with some sit-ups with rotation as the rotational element is really important for us as footballers, go into some crunches as well to you know further enhance those abs, some toe touches and we will finish off with some heel touches which incorporate slightly different muscle groups but all working the core. Okay guys, so that was all the strength exercises and you should be able to do most of them. Uh, I included some variations for you to be able to progress through the different levels of difficulty and resistance. But that's it for this time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.